morning. Welcome. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be guiding you through a one hour heart opening mm -hmm. yoga flow. So we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. Sitting onto the heels, you can bring the knees together or take them wide. And then slowly just walking the hands long across the mat until your forehead comes. Begin to tune into the breath. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose. As you exhale, out through the nose. Come completely empty. Preparing for your next cycle of breath. Start to tune in to the body, the breath, where you're at this morning. See if you can ask yourself how you feel mentally, physically, and spiritually. If you feel any pain in the body, see if you can your breath into that area. Inhale, bringing the prana, the life force into that area of the body. And exhale, releasing out all the tension, letting it all go. Now at any time during this practice, I want you to feel more than comfortable, more than welcome to return back into this pose, to return back to your breath. And always honor where you're at at every moment to give that during this practice. On your next inhale, rising up, coming into a tabletop. We're going to take the hands directly underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers nice and wide, and then take the knees hip width distance apart, keep the toes untucked. Taking an inhale, drop the belly, lift the head and the tailbone for cow. As you exhale, rounding the spine, bringing the chin in towards the chest, coming into cat. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the head and the tailbone. And exhale, cat, rounding the spine, bringing the chin toward the chest. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Coming back into a neutral tabletop, we're going to take the hands about a handprint in front. And then tuck the toes, lift the hips, and come into downward facing dog. Pedaling the feet, open one knee and then the other. Slowly warming up, tuning into the body, noticing how we feel. However, it feels good. Come back to stillness, pushing the heart toward the back of the room and then taking the gaze in between the legs. Really allow yourself to open up, lifting the hips toward the sky. And see if you can ground down, pushing the heels further to dig the hands deeper into the mat. Take an inhale, look in between the hands. And as you exhale, slowly step hop, flow, come to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, allowing the chest and thighs to touch. Create pressure between the heart and the root chakra. And over time and throughout our practice, we can allow those legs to straighten. Be easy, be gentle, 
take your time. Inhale, mountain pose. Drop the head in circle, sweep the hands up overhead, and bring them back to the heart center. Feeling the feet rooted beneath you. Ground down into the earth. And then take your awareness or your attention at your hands at heart center. At this time, if you want to set a dedication, an intention, manifestation, whatever it is you're trying to pull into your life right now, take your awareness. Whether it be big or small, something for you, somebody else for the state of the world. Allow it to come from love, come from your heart. So if you root down through your feet, bending at the knees, inhale, rise up towards the sky, pushing the hips toward the front of the room, lift the heart, and then allow the gaze to drop back. Get just a slight knee back bend here. Keep breathing, push the hips forward. Then take an inhale, rise back up to center. Stretching out the side body, we're going to push the hips over to the right side, lifting the heart. We're going to drop the hands over to the left. Then allow the gaze to rise. Continue to stretch out, breathe into the right side of the body. Push the hips to the right of the room. Stay grounded through the feet, lifting, rising through the heart. Take one more inhale. And exhale, back to center. Pushing the hips over to the left side. We're going to open up through the left side of the body, tilting toward the right side of the room. Turn the heart, turn the gaze toward the sky. Stay rooted, stay lifted. Allow the entire left side of the body to stretch open. Let anything go, releasing it out of your exhale. Take one more inhale, reach toward the side of the room, and exhale back to center. Coming into another mini back bend here, we're going to push the hips forward. Inhale, lift the heart, let the gaze drop back. Maybe you notice you can get just a little bit deeper here. Inhale, 
push, grab the leg. Left heel lower down, knees chest to chin, come to the floor. Inhale, knee, equal front. Hold, heart, roll, shoulder back, down. And then whenever you're ready, exhale back, downward facing dog. Step it through, 
Take one more inhale, reach toward the sky. As you exhale, drop that right hand. We're gonna step it back into a high plank. So left hand high, right hand onto the floor. We'll lift the head, slip the heart. Let the gaze follow, pushing the floor away. We'll take one more inhale. As you exhale, high plank. Hold it here for a moment, pulling everything back to the middle line. Everything back to the center. We'll take one more inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, downward facing dog. Thank you. 
more inhale. Then you exhale. Slow. And shift forward, coming back to mountain pose. Feel the ground beneath you. Get nice and rooted. Nice and grounded. Shift the weight over to the right foot. And then take the left hand back behind us. Grabbing onto the inside of the foot. The thumbs up. Knowing we're experimenting rotating that shoulder. And then reaching toward the front of the room. Shine the heart forward. Begin to kick the foot into the hand. Begin to dance your pose. So you can use the breath. Finding that counterbalance. Lean forward. Kick back to the baby. Stay steady. One energy out from the earth. If you can't, see you can do the slight mind movement. So we're walking out. Always being soft. If you fall out or begin to wiggle, it's okay. Get right back into it. Try again. And one more inhale. Reach over to the front of the room. And as you exhale, slowly come on out. Back in the mountain. We can just begin to back up you. Letting it all go. Bring the hands back to the heart center. Bring back to our dedication. Our intention. So rooting down through the feet, standing at the knees, inhale, rise up towards the sky, coming into our back in here, push the hips forward, lift the heart, and allow yourself to bend back as you let the gaze drop toward the back of the room. Keep breathing, never holding on to the breath, always being in the flow. Inhale, rising back up. We'll exhale forward, fold down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. And exhale forward, fold. Tweaking the left foot, we're going to step the right foot back, coming into a right crescent lunge. Rooting on down, we'll inhale, rise up towards the sky. Opening, lifting the heart. Reach the back of the room. Allow yourself to stay rooted, grounded at the same time. Open. Do one more inhale. Reach, lift the heart. And exhale, bring the hands back down. Coming into lizard pose. We'll drop that back knee. We did from the left side. Just wiggle the left foot to the left edge of the mat. Push the hand open. Whatever we did on the last side here, stay lifted or coming on down to the forearm. And maybe even tucking the toe, lifting that back knee up. Whatever you did on the last side, you got on this side to face balance. Exhale, bring your nose 
floor, your ankles forever comfortable. Just allowing the top of the head to fall toward the ground as you let the gaze fall toward the back of the room. Slowly rising on up. We're going to pivot over toward the top of the mat, taking the left foot to the left edge, and then stepping the right foot up and to the right edge of the mat. Pulling the left hip back in space, and the right hip forward will square the hips off. And then take an inhale, reaching toward the sky. Exhale, the pyramid pose, folding forward over that front leg. So you can bring your hands to the block, the floor, the chin, wherever comfortable. Allow yourself to let everything go. Landing the hand, we're going to step it back to our downward facing dog. Pedal the feet. One knee together. And shifting the weight forward. We're going to lower the knees, chest, chin, down to the ground. And coming into locust pose, we're going to take the hands back behind us and clasp them. Zipping the legs together. Bring them into one leg so you can only stay with the exhale here. And then push the pelvis into the ground. As you lift the legs, lift the heart up off the floor. Pull your hands together. Squeeze through the triceps in. Open up the heart, rolling the shoulders back and down. And then squeeze the inner thighs together. See if we can lift them off the ground. And then rise up just a little bit higher. Squeeze and push the floor away, lifting away from the earth. Taking one more inhale, rise up higher. And exhale, lower down, bring your right ear to the mat. And then take your hands out beside you for airplane. You'll lift the left leg up, bending the knee. And then take it over to the right side of the body. So coming into... A prone shoulder stretch. Just allow your shoulder to open up here. And release. Slowly making your way back to center. Slowly rising on up, we're going to come 
then you like you can tuck your toes under. Coming into camel here, we'll support the lower back by pushing the hips toward the front of the room. Taking your hands onto that low back, pushing the hips forward. Allow your heart to open and maybe you let the gaze drop back. Stay here if you like. Perfect place to build a foundation. Or if you want to play around, you can take the left hand to grab onto our ankle. And then maybe take the right hand up towards the sky. Opening the heart. Thank you. 
hands will stay rooted through the sit bones. And then take the right hand back behind us. Take an inhale, reach the left hand high, and bend the elbow, coming on to the outer edge of the thigh. Take one more inhale, sitting nice and tall, reaching through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, twisting over your right shoulder, look toward the back of the room. One more inhale, sitting up nice and tall. As you exhale, slowly untwist, coming back to center. We're gonna take our hands over to the left side, and then pushing the hands and the feet into the mat. We'll just slowly walk around, coming back behind us, and then twisting over, coming to half more of the fishes on the other side. If you got a little confused, it's completely fine. We're just having the right leg under and the left leg over this time. And then taking the left hand back behind us, we're gonna take an inhale, reach toward the sky. And bend the elbow, bring it to the outer edge of the thigh. Take one more inhale, sitting nice and tall, lifting through the crown of the head. And then exhale, twist over your left shoulder, looking toward the back. Take one more inhale, sitting nice and tall. And as you exhale, slowly untwist, coming back to center. We're gonna bring the legs in front of us, coming into a seated forward fold. We'll take an inhale, reach toward the sky. And as you exhale, folding over your legs. Allow yourself to create that chest to heart compression. So if you need to bend the knees, feel free to do so. And over time, allow the legs to straighten. Slowly rising up, we're going to bend the knees in and then come on to our backs. Rolling. Rocking from side to side, just massage out the low back, massage out the sacrum, and let everything go. Coming into bridge pose, we're going to take the feet hip width distance apart, and then close enough so you can touch your ankles with your fingertips. So pushing the heels onto the floor, we're going to lift the hips up and then roll onto our shoulders, allowing the heart to open. If it feels good, you can always clasp your hands underneath your back, and then continue to lift the hips, squeezing the legs together, allowing the heart to open. Take one more inhale. Reach from the sky, allowing the heart to open just a little bit more. As you exhale, lowering the hips down, one vertebrae at a time, until your tailbone being the very last thing to touch the floor. We get to winch away from the legs to one side, and then to the other. You can come into bridge pose again if you like, or we're going to make our way into wheel. So taking the hands back behind us, we're going to take the fingers pointing toward the toes. And then lifting the hips up off the ground, we'll push the weight into the hands. And then slowly just begin to push the floor away, opening the heart. 
See if you can stay rooted into the feet. Straighten out the legs, allowing you to push further into your heart space. Keep breathing, stay lifted. One more inhale, feel into the pose. Allow your heart to open as much as you can. And as you exhale, slowly lower down. One vertebrae at a time. The tailbone being the very last thing you touch the floor. Once you get down and grounded, you can begin to windshield wipe the legs, grounding the knees to one side and then the other. And right, last time we'll come into bridge or wheel, whichever one that you want or like, or moving your body freely. Push the ground away, lift the hips up, allow the heart to shine open. Continue to squeeze the breath. Letting out any tension, filling it back up with new prana, new life force energy. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, slowly lower down. One vertebrae at a time. Let your tailbone round down. The very last thing to touch the floor. And windshield wipers, legs, drop the knees to one side, and then the other. And hugging the knees into the chest. Up nice and deep. And holding on to the right knee, let the left leg go long. Grab onto the right knee with the left hand, extending the right arm out to the side. Moving the shoulders onto the floor. We'll come into a twist, pulling the knee to the left side of the body, and then drop the knees to the right. light in you because it is the same light that resides in each and every one of us. 
with this knowledge, with this wisdom. We are all one. We are all the same. Thank you.